let us have the demo on java swing facilities. Now, java swing facilities will be covered in two demonstration modules, this is the first one. In this demonstration modules, we are going to cover how to create a J frame that means, frame in java swings rather and then panel and then swing buttons actually different components are swing and then here whenever we have to include this component there are a few things needs to be remembered either using a constructor we can add some component or using the frame class or using the action listener method it is there. And also we will see that uh, which makes a little bit difference from the awt button to the j button that how a button can include an image that means, button with image actually. And then we will discuss about uh, the simple calculator using addition and subtraction which we have discussed in our text uh, handling uh, uh, event handling one demonstration there the same things will be, but using java uh, swing only. And simple program to find the number of words and characters using text area. So, this is another advantage that we can have from the uh, java swing this is why swing is more preferable because it has lot of built in program automatically it is there. So, automatic or count and then character count also can be facilitated from the GUI. And then other GUI component like text field, password field and then uh, login uh, password field uh, everything will be covered and then check box, radio button, J spinner and then toggle button all these things that ever ok. We will try to accommodate the demonstration of all these programs. So, let us have for the first demonstration on the J frame that means, how a frame can be included in a container using the java swing and for these things as you know we have to import javax dot swing dot star this is the necessary if we want to include the swing component here and then other things are to be included like import java dot awt dot star and all these things are there those are related to this one. Anyway, so we have included uh, those are the things are there javax dot swing dot star it will include all the uh, packages those are there and uh, by means of that all classes those are defined there will be accessible to this program. And this program is very simple as you see we create one frame the name of the frame object that we have created is simply frame and the label is j frame example and then also we declare one panel and then layout we have set into the flow layout, flow layout you have already learned about in, in the context of AWT and then label has been uh, initialized with the label button as uh, uh, but uh, label uh, has been initialized as j frame by example that is all and then button one object is one component is created here and all those things are added into this panel first and then panel has been added into the frame that is the policy it is basically that. So, panel includes the different j swing components and finally, panel is included in the frame objects and then uh, uh, so we have to just yeah, so, if we see the output of this applet then you can find it the output that you can get it here as you see here a little bit bigger in screen then ok. So, j frame by example and then button it is there. So, this is a simple example that a frame can includes the different j swing components how it is there including here panel level and button everything as included in this one. Now, next example is basically the panel related. So, how a panel can be created and the panel can be added we have already done the same example in the previous case also it is explicitly only panel there. So, let us have the output of this program and here you can see the background of the different uh, button can be changed here how the different color also that is also possible here and then background uh, of the background of the frame is grey or white you can say and then whatever the panel is grey and all these things you have done the setting it is there. Now, our next example is basically uh, swing example. Uh, so, how a swing button can be created and it can be added into a frame is very simple one. As you see here we first create a frame the frame is titled as uh, 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 no title is the in the frame it is here in this case then we create a button the button is labeled as click and then we add this button B into the frame F and then finally, we uh, define the configuration of the frames regarding size layout and then visibility those are the standard or configuration protocols that we have to do it. 
So, this is a very simple one example for illustration which includes a one a frame and the frame contains one button the label as click. Yeah, yeah that is fine it is very simple one example. Now, there are many methodologies by which a frame can be included. So, there are three ways that a frame can be uh, and then the different method can be included and finally, the uh, whole GUI can be created. Uh, so, it is basically one idea about the creating GUI components inside the constructor method itself and here we can see the simple example here we give the name of the class that we are going to develop for a GUI uh, uh, program uh, the name of the class is simple as in this case and in the simple class as you see it has the frame declaration and then the constructor simple and we inside this constructor we define whatever the procedure needs to be followed in order to create the GUI as we have done here create a button and that button is added into the frame and then frame has been resized and whatever it is there. And finally, in the main method we can just create the one instance of this class by calling the constructor automatically. So, that constructor only one constructor it is there simple. So, this way actually uh, what is the advantage of this thing is that is a code sharing is possible if we do the class in the different package and then we can include it and then from this class we can just create the object and then that object creation itself basically include the different parts of the GUIs to be included in the bigger one. So, it is basically uh, the idea about um, uh, bottom up approach. So, bottom bottom level uh, all the class declaration for each GUI component and then top level is the bigger content that it can be designed. Okay, so, this is the one idea about it. Our next example is basically the same thing, but here we can create an instance and then uh, for that instance we can uh, create the objects uh, there here uh, and then we can say that uh, there is no need to create uh, the instance of the frame class explicitly this is the one example here we can see without any creating the f object however, we will be able to add some component into it. So, this example is basically illustrate the this fact actually. Um, mostly it is very similar to the previous example. Now, say let us see what is the difference here the in so far the coding is concerned. Now, here we defined uh, the class simple to which extends G frame that is the only difference point here earlier is just simple simple to class, but we have to extend it that means it is basically is a subclass of J frame actually simple to in this case subclass of J frame and then we create a frame object and then the we define the constructor simple to and then we create the button B and then add button. Now, here you see we add button and explicitly uh, we do not have to mention implicitly that it, this add button goes to this frame itself, because the frame is the subclass object it is there. So, this button will be floated on the frame itself which is the main uh, which is included in the main, uh, main uh, class is there and finally, the main method is basically create the instance of this class itself uh, by means of calling the constructor. So, it is basically same as this one you may find the second the, the last one example is more preferable that is all this basically looks pretty simple uh, it looks little bit abstract, but it is also some programmer prefer this kind of coding it is there. And another example is that button with action listener. So, even handling the most important part it is there. So, how we can add the action listener to each button like uh, so for an instance for example and in this example we see we create a frame first and in this frame we add one button name the name of the button that we have given is the B and B has been set and uh, configured properly and added into the frame and then we have to add the listener method for that add action listener new action listener is the method right and then it will basically uh, it will print whatever the action that depends to is. that means, if we click the button automatically this this event will be executed event code, code will be event related code will be executed and it will display uh, the text welcome to uh, Java point like this one and then finally, it will display the results. So, this is the one example that we have shown it the button now here the next example button with image. So, there is a one good point here so far the Java swing button is concerned that we can add some button image on the button. 
So, this is the code there only you have to just simply instead of setting the level uh, that we have done uh, their icon of the image type we have to add it there. So, that we did it here we have created a j button b and then we say uh, then we create one image icon j. So, while we define the j button b as a button that time we just create an instance of image icon into it the image icon basically includes the specific location of the image where from where it should get the image file. So, that this image can be included in the button as you see the output for this program you can see is basically include one image that is there and yeah. So, this is the basically button with image. So, similarly some uh, okay, person's face or some other object flower or all these things or some other video click video symbols and everything can be included in this button like this. Now, our next example related to the text field in Java Swing. So, how uh, the text field can be added and after adding the text field how the different action can be handled related to this text field. So, again it is very similar to the simple calculator that we have already discussed while we are discussing about event handling routine managing and yes, there is basically here we will include same thing, but here we just use only the java button and java text field method it is there. It is basically same thing earlier it was without any swing pack uh, swing package here only the thing that we have used in the swing package the output and display and everything very similar to the previous one example of course. Okay, you can go through the code and then you can understand it, it is basically very similar to the previous code it is there and you can find little bit different the button looks like little bit different than the button that is created that was created using AWT uh, components like this one. Now, our next example to discuss the other few essential components which is now use explicitly uh, with a particular specific to the Java swing namely password field in addition to text field for the login purpose. As you know whenever user has to login to some sites or server then it basically display one applet or window where it includes login and then password. So, login as a appears as a text field whereas, password is appear as a password field. So, password field can be created by using Java swing here as we see. So, login you can type anything something no event is added here. So, you can just okay, log in as a num okay, you can write Debasis for example and the password is my password. Now, if we click it and okay, whatever the password that we have your program can sense it and accordingly it will uh, print this one. So, password is this one whatever it is there. Now, so these are the things that we can action can be uh, generated and then uh, event can be generated and for this event the action can uh, whichever action that you can plan you can add it into the in interface. So, this is about the password field it is there our next example is uh, basically check box check box using java swing uh, the similar concept only the thing is that j check box j check box and all these thing needs to be included here. So, is basically we create the check box two check box as a check box one and check box two and in each check box we add uh, Okay, that that is all only we just create the two check box and out of which one check box uh, as marked and the other is non marked. So, it is basically true and other is there. So, two check box are labeled as C plus plus and Java like. As you see the two check box here uh, C plus plus and Java and if we click C plus plus you will see the checkbox selection will go from Java to C plus plus like. So, automatically it will be added this one. Now, radio button is another example very similar to the uh, checkbox as we have shown it, but checkbox has the rectangular view of checking box. So, that is why it is called the checkbox. On the other hand radio button is basically is a button look like a radio that means, it is a circular type that is the only difference between radio button and the checkbox. Otherwise, the process method and everything is very similar to the checkbox itself. So, checkbox and radio button are the same program in fact only changing the component type from checkbox to j radio button like. 
and this is the code and as you can see this is the things are there and if we click uh, that click will be highlighted here using the mouse click event needs to be added here in order to sense the event and corresponding to that event you can write our own code so that the event handle code can be written by the programmer. So, this is the one example of radio button example our next example is basically J spinner as you know the J spinner is basically giving the choice of course, but little bit in a numeric form usually. So, here the numeric form and the range and everything can be specified okay, as we see here and if we it is just not exactly the scroll bar it is basically incrementer and decrementer of the spinner value actually. So, this in this example as we see Uh, in this example as we see uh, we create a spinner J spinner with the initial value as 5. So, by default we can change it 0 and then let, uh, let us make it 0 and then it has the range of values that it can vary. So, 0 to 10 and 0 to 10 like and increment is 1. So, if we can give the 0 0.5 increment that you can understand 0 first then 0 0.5 and everything is there. So, incrementing 0 0.5 Okay, fine. So, we can run we can uh, run it. Yeah. So, as we run it as you can see initialize 0 little bit bigger in screen. So, that we can see it little bit clearly yeah fine little bit middle middle yeah. Now, as we see here now if we the upper click we can use it. So, it will increase as you see that we are clicking and automatically the spinner values is ranging from uh, uh, current value to 1 increment each time and then again decreasing I can if after 10 if you write ok fine right. So, there will be no increment similarly if will decrement it will go then this one. Now, so this is the idea about here incremental value can be any value here we have 1. So, if I can do 0 0.25 so the range of value the precision will be automatically change and then it will do work for you. So, it is only for the numeric range of course, no other range can be allowed for example, floating point and all these things is not allowed there. So, this is the J spinner and our next example is uh, toggle button yeah. So, toggle button is basically is a button look like, uh, but here actually the button value can be toggled from only two values either on off or uh, whatever it is there. Now, in this example as we see here. So, little bit bigger in size yeah. So, now here the button is default is on now if we click this on then automatically it will change to off. So, obviously, the routine needs to be written for that we will just come to the code here we can see what is the code that is there in case of J button. So, here we have uh, created one example the name of the class that we have it is basically extension of J frame. So, a constructor of J frame needs to be created first. So, public static void main string is the main method and then we can create the toggle button example as a constructor here to invoke this one and then the toggle button example constructor is now refined by set title that means, is the frame the title of the frame is the toggle button with item listener actually because the this button can be is not that action event action listener it is a item listener. And then we just uh, defined set layout as a flow layout. You can change any other flow layout, or if you default the set layout null, whatever it is there. So, default layout planning will be there. And set J toggle button, set action, and then set size, set visible to, and set default closed operation. These are the usual method for the toggle button that you have to add it exit on close. So, it is there. Now, here you just come to the set J toggle button method which we have used there how this basically toggling will be there. So, it is on because it is on and off between and then add button and then set action is basically add item listener needs to be set here. So, that it can listen to the event if anything happens to that and then we decide uh, define the item state change event is there that is the event regarding the item event as I said already and then if selected then it basically set text off. If you do not select anything it will remain the same thing like that. Now, if I change it so on instead of on true and then off is false 
actually we can change any value there right and then here true on instead of on we can just write true now we have changed it so you can toggle between true and false like okay as you see here <coughs> yes now, so button is here we can see this is one if we click it then you will see that change will be true to false. So, click the button yeah as you see it it is there okay. and all the other things are applicable here. Now, we have understood few few components there few more components are also there that we will cover in our next uh, demo class. Our next demo class will include few more concepts about uh, java string components thank you very much